back in the middle of November when I first got monetized, I was sitting at about 2,000 or so subscribers. So I really wanna show you guys how much I was paid for November. Good morning, everybody, and happy Christmas Eve. I am here in my Christmas sweater, and we are in our Christmas gear. This is my, uh, it looks like an ugly Christmas sweater, but it's actually like a running shirt. When we were home visiting my family last year, my brother let me wear this on a Christmas run, and I never gave it back to him. I think he has another one like this, but this is where your second shirt is if you're looking for it. So. <laughs> And Kale got these new pants, and he's a big fan of them. Oh, I love these, yeah. These why, are, why do you like them so much? Because they're comfortable like sweats, but they actually look like you're wearing real clothes, like real pants. That's yeah. my biggest complaint about sweats, is it looks kind of... So he thinks, scrubby, well, he calls these like, sweats because there's like a fleece lining on the inside. Oh, and these amazing socks. Can I show them your socks? <laughs> just, just take your slippers off. These socks were hand knit by Kale's mom, our Mima, and I love them. And we love Christmas socks, don't we, Kale? My Christmas socks. They're your Christmas socks. And Dempsey is a big fan of your Christmas <laughs> socks too, <laughs> isn't she? All right, Dempsey, see if you can get up on here on your own. She's so cuddly. There we go. There you go, sweet girl. Is that good. Ready for Christmas cuddles, aren't you? Oh, so what a sweetheart. Okay, I would like a clarification. And I say they are not sweats. They feel like sweats, but they are actually. Okay, that was that was my I bad. Don't like sweats. Dempsey, do you think they're sweats? She's very opinionated. I need to take the camera off her right now. She's getting too fired up. So today is going to actually be a bit of a chill day because we turned the. Sorry, let me just. It's a really loud. We are big Faith Hill fans, but that was a little. We got turned down a little bit. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Today is gonna be a little bit of a calmer day because we turned our online shops, our Etsy and our main Shopify on vacation mode. So we won't be getting those online orders in today, which is good because we could have relaxed a little bit, but we still have our Facebook page and Instagram open. They're open if you guys want to contact us to see if what you want is available. There's we'll that option. Yeah, if you want to do a side order, we might be able to facilitate that. So if you want to reach out to us about ordering anything, Feel free to do so. So because the day is gonna be a little bit calmer, we're just going to be relaxing because it's Christmas Eve and enjoying our family time. If you are brand new to the channel, my name is Jerica and I am the owner and creator of Quench and that is a soap and bath bomb company. And on this channel, we talk all about how I run that business and how I sell my products, giving you guys tips and tricks on how you guys can also have your businesses grow in 2021. So if that is something that you are into, Please subscribe and all of you guys who have already subscribed we are almost at 4800 subscribers that is so cool thank you guys so much for your support and now let's get into the video what are you trying to do what's happening here i'm trying to message our friends in a group chat to dempsey's she's just wanting too many cuddles we're letting each other know what we're all having for Christmas Eve dinner tonight. <laughs> it's two beings trying to get on a chair meant for one person, and this is really cute and hilarious. Dempsey, you're always trying to fit into places that you can't fit in. You're so cute though. Oh my goodness. So Kayla and I got this bottle of Baileys, and what we like to do on Christmas, it's a tradition, we add a little bit of Baileys to our coffees. And on this plate is Christmas Eve dinner, prime rib. Oh, can't wait to make that. And over here, we've been munching on some delicious locally made peppermint bark. And this is, this was made by a company that we love. It's called Love and Butter. You should check her out on Instagram. But she makes a lot of delicious baked goods and sweet things like this. So if you want to check her out, please do so. This is so good. Love it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's 10 a.m. but it's so dark and gloomy which is kind of sad and the snow is gone pretty much it's a pretty green christmas eve but i do think there's going to be snow coming later on right kale is there snow coming later oh yeah for sure those are my soap dishes out there so kind of a dark and gloomy type of morning but we are in the Christmas cheer and gonna have some Baileys and coffee to start off the day. Oh, 
That's good. Mima and Papa, we're thinking of you. You know that we love having our Baileys and coffee with you on Christmas and we really wish we could be with you guys today. So this is to you guys. Kale is requesting I bring the Baileys over to him for his Baileys and coffee <laughs> because he's uh, <laughs> immobile right now. <laughs> Dempsey. So this was just coffee, my first cup. Okay. Because um, I was down here earlier and I wanted to wait for you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. That's really nice of you. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what that whole setup actually looks like now that I have everything unpacked and set up together. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna use when I do my sit down talk through videos. And maybe for vlogs, we'll see. It's a lot heavier than I thought I would <laughs> than I thought it would be. But yeah, it's pretty intense and also I made a mistake. I don't have a Canon 70D, I have a Canon 80D, but they're pretty similar. Yeah, this is what I'll be using. So hopefully the quality will be better. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me better and see me better and Kale too when he joins me on those sit down videos when we talk about our business. If you're curious about any of these products, I had the links to them in the description below. Our neighbor just dropped this off few moments ago and that's so sweet. We've been giving gifts to our neighbors as well and we've been really enjoying the sense of community in our town and on our street and we are super close with our neighbors directly next door to us and the neighbors one house over and then also the neighbors whose backyard borders our backyard. And we also recommend if you are starting a small business to tell your neighbors about it because they have been huge supporters of our businesses as well. And mm -hmm. they've let all of their friends know about our business and yeah. we've grown in the community that way. But yeah, this is a present and we're opening it here. Oh, what's this? What do we got? So we have egg custard. Oh, interesting. What? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Add one teaspoon. Maple syrup, oh my god, and it's lactose free, what? Mm. There's that. More egg custard. Nice. Oh my gosh, and oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, Ooh. oh, I, I smudged it, but it's German lemon cake with <gasps> rosemary. Oh my goodness, yes, <laughs> yay. Oh my gosh, we have been, we are gonna be eating so well this Christmas, thanks to our neighbors. Thank you, Conrad and Patricia. I don't think they watch our channel, but we love them. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm actually now recording on the new setup. So hopefully everything is in focus and hopefully you can hear me a lot better than usual. I thought it'd be a great time to talk to you guys about how much I was actually paid from YouTube. And I was going to wait until I talked about my earnings report. Ooh, I'm really super bright. Hold on, let me adjust this just a little bit so I don't look completely insane. And the reason why I think it's helpful to share this on YouTube is because the reason why my YouTube was able to generate me income is a direct result of my business and is because I'm able to share my skills in making soap with a YouTube audience. So this is something that I think if you guys are kind of thinking about doing, I 100% recommend that you guys do this as well because it has really surprised me how much money I have been able to make in such a short period of time with such a small audience. Remember, I have about 4,800 or so subscribers now, but back in the middle of November when I first got monetized, I was sitting at about 2,000 or so subscribers. So I really wanna show you guys how much I was paid for November. And remember, I got monetized on the 15th of November, and this is about two weeks of being monetized, how much my channel has actually made me. And I'm gonna pull up my screen real quick and show you some of my analytics, which I think are fascinating. And as you can see here, this is my full dashboard. I have my channel over here, and over here I have all of my analytics. And the great thing about YouTube is they show you such intricate, detailed analytics about how your channel is doing. And over here, you can see each of these little play icons is a video that I've uploaded. And it shows you the analytic at the time when that video has been uploaded. So right now it's showing my views, which from the beginning of November till the end of November started to increase slightly. But what I wanted to focus on today in today's video is the revenue. And if you notice at the very end of the screen, we have our revenue and it does show that I made $445.29 for being monetized for two weeks at the end of November. That is crazy. That's a significant amount of money. I, and I was totally shocked that I was able to make that in such a short period of time. Now, if I go into my revenue tab, you can see how I was first monetized right here with this video on 
the 15th of November and it was the how to make product labels at home video. And from then on, I was able to get money from AdSense. And I might talk about in a later video how all that works, how I was able to get monetized and how Google AdSense actually calculates all of that for me. That's gonna be for a later video, but for today's video, I just wanna show you guys the range of which I've been able to get paid per day. So at the very beginning, on my first day of being monetized, I made $0, but on the very next day, on the 16th, I made $18.74 on the first day. And as I go along in further days, you can see how that number fluctuates from down to 18 when I first started getting paid all the way up to up here at the peak $48.95. That's incredible. And over here you can see my RPM is $5.96 and RPM means the revenue per mile, tells you how much you earn per thousand views. And over here is the playback CPM and what CPM is, is the effective playback cost per mile. And this tells me how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized playbacks. Again, that's all stuff that I want to dedicate a whole video towards down the line, but just to give you guys an idea of how my channel has been doing, that is how it's been doing. Now, $25.47 for an average CPM is on the higher end. And I I think the reason that it's so high is because my channel is mainly a how-to small business type channel, which the majority of my audience, I have a feeling you guys are all small business owners or aspiring to be small business owners. So if you guys decided to create a YouTube yourselves, you would be getting the same type of CPM rates as me and therefore should be able to make the same type of revenue as I have been able to get. Keep in mind, I've also uploaded quite a bit. Starting from the middle of September was when I started to really upload a lot and a reason why I think I've gotten such a high amount from Google AdSense right off the bat was because I had a good library of videos that people just like to watch and binge watch again and again and again. In that whole time while you're waiting to be monetized, definitely make more videos and just keep uploading, keep sharing your process, use that as inspiration. I know you guys can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm just a normal person and this is what I've been able to create, which is really, really cool. So it's now mid-afternoon and Kayla and I just finished watching The Queen's Gambit and what a great show. I actually fell asleep for the last part of it, <laughs> the most important and most interesting part of it, I'd say. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, it makes you want to play some chess. Yeah, what a great show, highly recommend it. And now I just got some packages in the mail, so excited about them. And I thought I would just unbox it for you guys right now on camera. So this first box is from Windy Point, and I put in this order a while back, knowing that it was going to take a long time to get here, but it took a really long time to get here, and they actually called me and said that they were going to be resending the package through a different carrier. They weren't sure if I was ever gonna get my original package, which they originally sent through Canada Post. They are based in Alberta, and I've been hearing so many stories about mail getting trapped in Alberta in the distribution center there. That kind of sucks for anyone shipping stuff that has to go through that. We've been lucky so far. I don't know if anyone who has bought through us that we've shipped out to Alberta or out to the West Coast has had their package severely delayed. We haven't had anyone reach out to us yet, but if it is really, really delayed, that's probably why. And it's not just in Alberta, there's crazy backups everywhere, all over America. From what the guy was explaining to me, he was saying that the issues were at the terminal for the parcels leaving Alberta. Yeah. So I think we've been pretty lucky with our packages arriving yeah. there in a timely fashion. Definitely, we have lucked out. That or our customers are super understanding. And if that's the case, thank you guys so much. It thank will, you. It will get to you guys eventually. I'm just really sorry about that. Look how securely they wrap everything. It is really inspiring. Save all this bubble wrap too. This is all valuable stuff to keep. I got a refill of Galactic Grape Fragrance Oil and some hydrolyzed oat protein. I use these hydrolyzed proteins for my shampoo bars and they're the ingredient in the shampoo bars that give your hair shine and make it look healthy. So a great ingredient to have in your shampoo bars is a hydrolyzed protein of some sort and I use either rice or oat, either one of the two. 
We finally have more of white diamond oh, nice. mica. We've been out of this for a long time. That's what we need. And this is arrowroot powder. And I use this ingredient in body butters so that it doesn't feel as greasy. And it's a pretty effective ingredient. It's really lightweight and it helps make my body butters feel nice and silky. And the last thing is coca metapropyl betaine. And this is the foaming stuff that I like to use in shampoo. And we're also used, oh, we use it in our foaming bath butter base, base. Yep. which is the base that we used for our sugar scrubs. And it's derived from coconuts. It's a nice, gentle surfactant. I really like this ingredient a lot. This unboxing wasn't as exciting as other ones, but these are all stuff that I need and use regularly. I'm really glad that Wendy Point was able to reship it to us and get it to us. We were getting super low on this and super low on other things. So I'm really, really glad that they were able to do that for us. Thank you so much, Wendy Point. Kayla and I were about to put this gorgeous roast in the oven before we remembered that there was a soap in there, <laughs> so yeah, good thing we remembered before we cooked the soap, which has happened actually before. Kale, do you remember when you yeah. roasted our yep. soap? And yeah. the bottom of the mold got a little so, yeah, crispy. So, <laughs> if you ever see the bottoms of our molds and they're a little charred, that's why. So if you are interested in seeing the cut of our best-selling lavender soap, here it is right now. So I just caught the French lavender soap, and this is, oh my gosh, one of my prettiest soaps I think I do. Doesn't it look so nice? It's good that the purple Ooh. comes so far down into the white. People like that. Yeah. I have this lighter purple that I use Wendy Point's, I think it's purple diamonds or something. It's like violet something from Wendy Point, but the darker purple, the grayish purple, is actually a mix between azure blue and that violet mica. So sometimes I like to create brand new colors with micas. Which you can totally do. It smells so amazing. Anything goes with purple. That That is true. It's one of our favorite colors here. I don't know if you noticed, but we often have purple days. <laughs> we have purple days a lot. Yeah. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Kale, Dempsey, and I are going to be enjoying our Christmas Eve with a glass of wine and a good roast. And really hope that you guys are also going to be having good Christmas Eves <laughs> and enjoying a good meal yourselves. And I know that this year is gonna be really tough for a lot of you guys because we're all separated from our families and it's all for the greater good and it sucks, but remember it's only just for one Christmas, hopefully. And next year is gonna be that much greater because you weren't able to see your family this year. So that's what we're looking forward to. Better things ahead. Yep. Yeah, we're just so grateful for our health and and that we have each other. That's really all we can hope for for this year. So thank you so much for making our channel such a fun one 
and for watching and for commenting and being awesome subscribers. If you were new to the channel and this is something that you liked, please leave a like and subscribe because we have a lot coming in 2021. Until then, have an awesome Christmas. Merry oh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll be posting this on Christmas Day. So enjoy time with your families and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Good night. <laughs>